Hello guys, I'm starting on the go and I don't normally do this, but something major has just happened. Like, major. Like, I can't deal. I don't know if I should tell you or if I should wait till it happens. Probably just wait till it happens because otherwise, I'm very much like, I just do things. I don't like to talk about doing them because then if it doesn't happen, you've like spoken about doing it and then you didn't do it, if you know what I mean? So. Okay, I'm just gonna not say it. I'm just gonna dangle it all in front of you. If it happens, you'll know. If it doesn't, then you won't. Um, if it doesn't happen, I'll tell you. Um, you have to wait till next week. But, yeah. I'm just gonna go grab a coffee in here. So maybe we'll chat again in a second. Hey girlies, I'm at Liverpool Street because I'm going for an eyebrow lamination appointment. Um, last time I had them done, I wet my face. So you're not supposed to wet your face after getting it done because it's like a perm but for your eyebrows. Um, so it didn't last as long. And then I missed the date for the, ne for the next appointment. So I've just put this like random place in Liverpool Street. So we'll see how it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, I just did some kind of like concept art. Not me, myself. I put together like a, a mood board, I guess, for concept art for the podcast, which is almost ready to go, which is crazy. I don't know if I've spoken about the podcast on here, actually. The light round here is so great. Um, basically, I'm doing a podcast. If I hadn't mentioned it already. We filmed the pilot, so we have one ready to go working on the others ASAP so the kind of final thing is the artwork so once that's done it will be released um, which is exciting so yeah so I was working on that just then and I've just been to Selfridges um, to check out the new Paco Rabanne uh, kind of station where you can get stuff customised but it's only for this weekend so if you're watching this on Sunday sorry it's gone you should check my Instagram story shouldn't you um, but there is a Paco Rabanne exhibition there where they have these like archive pieces from iconic Paco Rabanne collections. That's there till the end of March, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, but yeah, what else was I going to say? I cannot remember for the life of me. I just remember they have to find a cash machine because this place only accepts cash at the moment. Which is a little bit suspicious, but we'll see. I'm actually really annoyed at myself for not vlogging sooner today because I went to Marugame for lunch with the beef nikutama. It's so good. I went to the one in St. Christopher's place, but there's the one in Liverpool Street that I'd always been to that I'm walking past right now. I definitely cannot multitask. It's like, oh, I just went the wrong way, by the way. So now, hopefully I won't be late. Um, it's like all my friends can watch like Netflix or programs whilst doing like work, whilst they're typing or like writing emails and stuff. And I just can't. I literally cannot multitask in that way. Like I have to be doing just one thing. Like it's either vlogging or going the right way. And it looks like it's vlogging at the moment, so. So the wardrobe building has begun. I'm very excited about. Hello. Um, I have a new tripod. <laughs> it has a light in it. Uh, so I'm trying to use it right now. Uh, this, I'm so sorry about the mess of this vlog. I mean, I started it when I found out that news and then I went to get my eyebrows done and they were looking very crazy right after I had them done. And now I feel like they're a lot less crazy. Um, I'm really happy with them. Um, and then <laughs> over the weekends, so that was, oh my God, that was last Friday. Yeah. Do you know what? I think you could move down a little bit.
Oh my god, I fucking hate this Fitbit <laughs> so much. <laughs> so I'm trying to count like my steps and my fitness and stuff. So when I go to the gym, um, so my trainer recommended that I get like it's not a Fitbit, it's like a cheaper version, um, just to like be more accurate because. I think the only way they've counted my steps is with my phone. I don't obviously have my phone with me in the gym and stuff like that, so. Yeah, and sometimes, and sometimes I forget to take it off and I hate it. <laughs> um, it's not that bad. Basically, yeah, so it was the weekend and then we had some work, little bits and bobs done around the house. Uh, so I wanted to show you that today. Uh, I also got some new jeans that I want to show you guys because I'm obsessed. I put a reels of them on Instagram. I also put a TikTok up of the wardrobes of like me kind of styling them, if you will. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go follow me over on TikTok. And if you're not following me on Instagram already, then go and do that. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like the agenda of today's video. Scott's in the office. Uh, and the builder guys have just left. So I thought I'd show you what's been going on. Um, and then in part of my big news that I started this vlog with, I, this weekend, I'm going to Paris. Um, yeah, I'm going to Paris for a few days for some fashion week business, which I will vlog, which I'm very, very excited about. So yeah still kind of not really believing it will happen until it happens so we shall see so this is the dressing room situation i still feel like i need some other like bits and bobs above the top maybe to connect it to the ceiling but i'm so happy this is the pax system from ikea basically ordered it a while ago i think the whole kit all together like the materials was like 300 pounds um and yeah, so I just had the two black rails before and this is so much better. Like, so I have all like coats and jackets, long uh, coats are in my other wardrobe in the bedroom, but like short jackets, t-shirts, um, some like knitwear, some other stuff that I want hanging is all hanging. I was able to put some bags there, some bags there, some caps. So now this can be used for more shoes if and when I get any. Um, and in drawers, I'm able to keep stuff like accessories. I've never really had a place to put like sunglasses and belts before. Um, like t-shirts, jumpers, uh, track suits, and jeans. So I've rolled up my denim and stuff like that and keeping them down there. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I'm also gonna get some like little storage things for the shelves in the corner because I actually have like the whole of the alcove to like put stuff down there. Um, so I'm going to start storing stuff down there as well, which is great. That's one thing that we really needed in this house and that was like more storage. So I'm super happy with how this is going at the moment. Coming out into the stairs, like the hallway, I don't know if I mentioned, but I wanted to put a mirror on the stairway and this light because um, they did have like a chandelier light there before which we were able to swap out for this um, which I love and then the mirror on the stairs is mainly for outfit selfies and stuff which I'm super pleased with I think it does look a bit like odd like just being there when you come down the stairs but in actual fact it like help reflects light into the hallway and it's great for selfies <laughs> So, I don't know if I showed you the options at the moment, but we're trying to pick between these. I think we were edging more towards this gentle fawn one, um, but we're not entirely sure yet. We just want something like relaxing here as well. But then we just got this mirror. Uh, I need to clean it. <laughs> you can see handprints on there, but it's literally just gone up. Oh my God, Rabu. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> So yeah, really happy. It's like a little pond mirror from Etsy. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Um, but yeah, I love the shape of it. I think it's really cool. You can see my little 
uh, mushroom portable lamp as well, which I absolutely love. Uh, so yeah, that's literally just kind of, that's why it's covered in fingerprints. So we had some bits done downstairs as well, but um, kind of boring. Like we had a loose cupboard in the kitchen. We had like the tap was loose for some reason. Um, Scott needed some more shelves putting up in the like gaming room and we needed that fireplace is like fully blocking off as well. I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram story, but we've had like a uh, cat, like obviously someone else's cat that keeps coming in. Uh, basically we keep letting it in. Uh, we don't feed it, uh, but we do tickle it and <laughs> give it love because it's so needy and so cute. But basically the cat was trying to jump up the fire uh, place because it wasn't blocked off properly. So that was bad. So every time he tried to jump up, he had to like, uh, yeah, so every time he was trying to jump up, I was like losing my mind. So they're completely blocked off now, which is what we needed to do anyway. Like it helped the house stay warmer and stuff. So I picked up these Y Project jeans because uh, they did do like a previous version of them and they were basically like the denim. I'll just show you them first. So these are the denim in question. Could this be a cute thumbnail? Maybe with my hoodie on. Where's my freaking hoodie? This is like my uniform I'm wearing for every single video at the moment, but... Or maybe the thumbnail should be me like wearing them. Anyway, these are the jeans. It's like a pair of shorts, but then these are attached by just little buttons on each side. So then the whole leg part detaches. So you could just wear it as shorts and you can wear these like around your ankles, I guess. Um, but they look great as like a proper pair of jeans just on as well. It's really pissing me off. What is this? <clears throat> so basically, yeah, you can either wear them as shorts with these like around your ankles or you can wear them as jeans. And I think they look amazing as jeans. Like I love this Western embroidery detail. They look like you're wearing like cowboy boots that are up to your thighs. Uh, so yeah, I actually got them from a store called Zero Seventeen, but they're sold out of them now. And it, well, in actual fact, they'll be getting one pair of 32s back because these unfortunately are just too tight on my thighs. If you've watched me for a long time, you'll know that I often have trouble fitting uh, denim jeans around my thighs. Like they have to be just loose enough because I have quite, I guess, developed like muscles, I wanna say, I have thick thighs. Um, yeah, <laughs> so some jeans can be a little bit too tight and I think these are short, you'll see when I put them on they are. So I managed to get the next size up from Essence uh, and I'm gonna send these back to this Canadian store. It's funny because Essence is Canadian and then the store that I got these from is called Zero Seventeen, and that's Canadian as well. So they're all from Canada. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love them. That's why I ordered them in the next size straight away. Uh, and I'm gonna send these ones back, uh, but I will show you what they look like on because I love them so much. Now I would ideally wear these with like more of a cowboy boot style, but I don't actually have anything at the moment. So I'm gonna wear them with the trooper boot. Um, yeah, but ideally I'd want to wear these with like a more pointed kind of boot. And I really don't think any of my other shoes go with them. Like I don't wanna, I wouldn't wanna wear sneakers with these and I wouldn't wanna wear like a rounded toe either. Um, so for now this will just have to do, but it's just to show you guys what the kind of concept is. So we have the short part here and you see like on the waist is fine, but around the thighs, it just feels very, you can see it kind of pulling here on the denim, which I don't love. And then you have the two leg pieces, which are like fully detach, detachable. Um, and it's a shame because I do think they make my butt look quite good. <laughs> um, let me double check this footage. Some moody shots and laughter. Um, so yeah, basically, um, the button is here. And here. Okay, let's put that one down. And then here. 
um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So they detached to just like little shorts. Someone made me laugh on Instagram because they were like, you went from daddy to twink. <laughs> it's true, because like with them up, it's like cowboy daddy, but with them down, it's like twink. Uh, so yeah, that is a kind of like vibe from these white project jeans. They do them in blue as well, which are really, really nice. One more thing that I wanted to show you guys is a pack of stickers I picked up from one of my favorite artists. I basically started following her on Instagram like years, a long time ago. Um, her Instagram handle I cannot pronounce. It's like Pyrrhix, Pyrrhix. Uh, I'll leave a link again in the description box below. Um, do you think I have a card with it on? Yeah. Like, Purex. Anyway, um, and the website is teething.com, like triple E, teething.com. Uh, and her name is Lynn. And basically, I am obsessed with her artwork, and I have been for a long time now. Um, and she basically uh, brought out a sticker pack, so I bought them. <laughs> and I have an idea, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my idea right now. One cool thing about this new tripod is that it will let me film top down like this. So here are the sticker packs. Well, this is everything that I got. I think there's two different sets. So you uh, want to steal this one for the packaging as well. Um, and that was the card it came with. But basically, I'm obsessed. And I feel like I always buy little things like this and I'm like, what am I actually gonna do with them? And I was like, how can I incorporate these in something that I'll actually use? And then I was thinking, I've had my laptop case for so long and I'm actually so bored of it because it's just like a white marble. So, I just ordered a plain black laptop case and I'm going to stick the stickers on there. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so my phone actually died when I started filming this, but basically I've cut the stickers out and I've put them in potential places, which I'm really happy with at the moment. Uh, so yeah, now I just have to actually stick them down, so. I kind of do want them to like layer over each other as well, which I think would be really cool. I'm gonna keep this sword until I've done like, or maybe I want this underneath that. Hey. 